I hope people want to improve, otherwise you're treading water, essentially. Uh, and I do see people a lot on track days, and they'll obviously go through a period of improvement, and then they'll kind of plateau with the riding, and then they're just going out and repeating, repeating, repeating. And the danger of that is, if you, if you do that, you kind of get stuck in a bit of a rut. If you're riding as fast as you can in that rut, and you're trying to improve your time, if you just try and ride faster, that's where the mistakes will start to come in. Hopefully you'll keep it upright, because effectively you're repeating the same thing, but trying to go faster instead of changing what you're doing to give you that improvement. You can change sometimes, and it has a negative effect, well, you learn from that and you do something else, try something different again and try and move forward with it. It's all about, I think, about perception and how you perceive data. And look at the data. There you have it. It's, see the at the bottom here, it's broke it up into laps and then match that up with how it feels on the bike. And data, visual, feel, is three sides of a triangle which you all have to kind of fit together and it's finding a way to make it fit.